Welcome back into Subnautica. We are over here at the uh, Alpha Base. And uh, I find all I really did was just charge up my gear here. And we've got the... Uh, I, I did some components for my, my guy here. So I put in uh, the drill arm suit and a storage module. And what else do I have over here? Upgrade materials. Yeah, I don't have anything yet for upgrading. I've done it over here yet. I have solved somewhat my, my fuel problem by just sticking in a bunch of fish, and that seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, I think the amount of energy I get is the same, regardless if it's a four space or a one space, so yeah. We've got the Seamoth. I've gone for hull reinforcement, Seamoth solar charger, the storage module, and the Sea Depth Mark II uh, to get down there. I also don't have anything in here at the moment. Just done to double check that to make sure it's clear. I am going to go down a deep, I think. I need to get some materials. I also want to find out a heat vent. I've got the scanner on heat vents right now. So you can see right below me there are some heat vents. You know, I probably don't even need to take this thing with me, but, you know, we'll, we'll do it anyway. over here and I want to get uh, five I want to do an external thermal oh no I need magnetite right damn it okay off in search of magnetite Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Wait, can I, uh, let me jump in here and get some air. I'm going back. Hey, 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 you. Knock it off. Where's my damage at? Ooh, 57. Damn. All right, um, I'm going up. Well, I did just made a run over to the actual outpost, the main the main base, and I went down into the sub area to gather some magnesite, and I brought back all of that here. I figure I can go back down. I think that the prawn is what I need next. If I have the prawn, I can go over there and do some mining. I think there was one right, like literally behind below me, in there. Pretty close. Where are you? I know you were here, Mr. Heat Vent. There it is. Now, let's see if I can do this thermal plant. Do I have to put it on a bracket? Makes it down somewhere. <laughs> Woo! Restored. You know what, actually, can I put this underneath? No. That'd have been pretty cool. Protect it. Yeah, I'll put it right next to it and we'll see if it's, it works. Ooh, looks like it already connected.
it did connect. All right. So I really don't need the power generator there anymore because it's got thermal going. Oldest draws first. I seem to remember that being the case. So let me come in here. Can I grab this stuff out? No. You know what? I'll leave it for now. I want to do a test here real quick. We're going to use the uh, pawn. No. Right in this crevice in here, there is a mine node. This is the last of it, right? Okay, so you do take the note out. Good to know. There we go. And then we can hit the uh, storage. Yeah. Oh, I picked up some salt and some lead out of that, too. But look at all that copper. Nice. Okay, a little bit of practice needed for the prawn, but we got dry run. Can I grab a fish with this guy? I, oh, I can. <laughs> wow. Uh, you have to be really good at it, though. Okay. Uh, that would be a bad step, right? Okay, where am I going? Undersea portal, subcave, sea moth. I want to go this way. Falling, the jumping, or anything like that. Can I hang on to the side? Not quite. Look 
kinda. Okay, I hear you. Where? Oh, there you are. Actually, I'll stay down here for a second. Oh, there's another one right there. So yeah, we're just, I'm just getting some practice here. Wow. It's a little squirrely to deal with, but I'm okay with this. Definitely a little squirrely. Quartz. Um, I could probably use a little bit of quartz. No. Okay. okay. Successful run with the prawn. I like it. Uh, might have to get down, might get down a little bit of a more dangerous zone next. Do I have any repair to do? No, but uh, there's some charging going on. That's fine. Okay. Drink my coffee. Now let's go drop this stuff off. Right, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm starting to flesh out this base with all of the materials that I might need. So I need to do a uh, materials run. I'm, I'm shy on a number of things, lithium, uh, diamond, uh, magnetite, I can put on the other, other place as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the prawn suit. I have moved the cyclops. So that I might be able to yes, load it up. So we're gonna take the prawn with us. Closed, closed. Prawn suit is all good, and it's showing me all the goodies on it. That's great. This place also has a lot of storage in it. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. Now, I did also notice that it gives me little flashy points when I'm getting closest. Banging my backside. We're going to come up and then we're going to head back out. Okay, we're outside the, uh, I think it was the Degasi habitat. I'm not sure if that was, remember what that's called or whatever. However, um, I did drop down. We are underneath the uh, sea moth, it's not the sea moth, Cyclops is up there. This is the sub cave again. Um, I came in here and picked up uh, a note of gold, which gave me quite a bit of gold. I got a note of lithium, which gave me quite a bit of lithium. And I took out uh, two nodes of magnesite, which got me that so I'm I'm pretty happy with what I picked up so far but we have to get back out and this is this is where I'm I'm hoping I'm gonna have everything I need Okay, 
make it here. Did I make it? Uh, no. I did not. Well, maybe, maybe I can make it up on the little snow shelf here. Can you go like on top of this thing? Kinda, yeah. Cool. But I don't think it's any better than the shelf I had over here. We'll see. Nope, it wasn't. This could be problematic. Shelf nearby. Like to utilize. Feels like this one. Hmm. Is there another? <sighs> uh, that might work from there. It's going straight across. 65. Okay. Let's see if that'll work. Straight across. Okay then. Well, I guess that pretty much does it. I'm gonna to have to bail. I'll come back and try to figure out how to get the uh, run out later. What do you say we go pick a fight? Okay, well, um, I can't hit him, but he doesn't seem to be too terribly interested in me, so I think that's fine. I don't know if he does, he only does five points of damage, so you should have time to, to uh, like, deal with it. Oh, we found a PVA down here. Nice. Margaritas, freaking freely. Uh, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks. Not a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear. Everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down, and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enamel glass. I started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Well, nice. She's. <laughs> I, I mean, I can get behind her uh, rather aggressive attitude.
All right, so I'm over here by the uh, Degasi underground underwater thing here, and um, I'm I'm trying to get back out again. I did this yesterday, I think, or for me it was yesterday. For you, it was just a little while ago. And I'm jumping over here to this ledge, and I couldn't make it out. So what I did was I actually I made I made a self-made ledge. But otherwise, I can't get out. I also had to take the uh, Cyclops back because I was starting to starve and get uh, thirsty and a few other things. So I finally had to deal with, what was it? What was it? Oh no, did I miss? I missed. I could probably do another one in here, but you know. A little edge in here, so I'm gonna grab that instead. Just barely. Okay. And from here we can just do keep keep popping out. Right, so I've got myself loaded up with stuff that we picked up from down there. I also got more stuff in the uh, in the sea moth. Grab the two things I'm gonna eat by. Oh, I should probably shouldn't eat that. Bad, bad, bad choice. <laughs> so I uh, placed a fabricator up in here, uh, and with that, I've been making water. I stocked up over at the base while I was over there. And do I have any salt on me? No. So this is all my food prep area. And uh, then I made I made storage. <laughs> I made lots and lots of storage. What if I put a uh, vending machine in here get it nice and lined up cool. and just a couple of coffee coffee machines start low I could use some coffee Maybe another one in? No. Okay. Probably do one there, but I'm not gonna do it. Thank you. And then we'll do some vending. And now, now I don't have to worry about uh, stockpiling food if I don't need to. I can just eat myself in the to oblivion with snacks. Besides, what kind of bridge would this be without a coffee station? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so we got the sea. We got the uh, we got the prawn here. It's it's banging its tail. The tail's actually grounded at the moment. Our power is at 43. Okay. I get this thing on the road. There we go. Now we're going to head back to this base. This is my, my primary base. And then I have a spot I want to go to, which is right there. Where you can see there's a node with some lithium, some copper, and some salt. I think all of those I could certainly use. Engine powering down. Get 
Okay, we come over to the node area for me to drill out all of the various things here. I've got the salt, the lithium, a couple of copper. We're going to load up on some of this. Certainly anything that overflows within the storage on the Cyclops, I'll put into a base. We've got a chance to actually uh, scan events. I wonder uh, what that's going to be. Alien event. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe of the network without signs of distress. Okay, there's a peeper going in. So, deoxygenated. So, something's pulling oxygen out of the water and spinning it that out. Again, huh? Okay. Uh, if that's the case, wait. If you're if you're if you're pulling oxygen out of the water, H two O, shouldn't there be hydrogen too? Or shouldn't there be hydrogen as well? All right. So, this is a new place for an alien vent. The other alien vent is way the hell over there. Is this something else? Oh, that's uh, salt. What are you going to give me? Copper. Like I don't have enough copper already. Okay. Let's go back to the... Uh, the Cyclops. Well, I've got down to the next place here. I've got, um, or I went back to the Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. I need to put a power cell recharger in here. Might in fact need to do more than one. But. Now that we're here. I grab some power cells out of the nook upstairs. Turn on the side. Zero. Ideally, I should have some extra sitting around. But now we can load up the uh, thing here. Now, one of the things I didn't notice is my power is at 500. So, how come? Fire reactor's up and running. Blue line to the power reactor. There was before. Oh boy. Does this mean I have to do something to contain this? We get eaten? Broken? Mm. 
No. Look fine. All right, so let's go ahead and do another transmitter up here. Transmitter's going to cost me what? One gold, one type eight. So I go in here, go down to the best power reactor. Oh, yeah, here we go. So where's the bio reactor? It's like right underneath. Can I just do this down here? I can. How do I know it's working? There's the blue line. There it is, some fifty. It's connected. And you guys are almost half up already. Nice. Alright, so I think I maybe do a second one of these and create a couple power cells and always have them in there so I can swap them out. Alright, I'm going to do that. Okay, well we're down now at the uh, Alpha Base here. Finished off a little bit of work. We've got the 750 up at the top there. We got, uh, so we got the, the, the thermal generator running along with the bio generator. So I, I feel better that we have a uh, less exhaustible power supply. Uh, we've got uh, two power cell chargers down here for the Cyclops and the regular uh, battery chargers for all my other stuff. Of course, we've got the modification station here. And uh, we've got the Seamoth over there in the bay. The Cyclops has the prawn. Um, I kind of like this combination at the moment. Uh, I can see maybe if I want to go somewhere and do some exploring with the Seamoth, I can do that. But uh, we'll see. Um, I did transfer in some of my uh, purple tablets and the ion cube here so that I would have it just in case. You've got some stalker and other miscellaneous things. I just didn't have a place to put them, so I put them there. Um, I have created some gas torpedoes, even though I don't have a torpedo arm on, the, on my guy yet. Um, and then this is overflow for both the habitats and here. I think you just use enough coral over there, I could probably take that over, over the closest extension. Did I use it here? No. We moved over there. Uh, so we've got all our wall here. I'll, I'll, I'll pause for a minute here just so you can read what I've got. If you want to, you can also hit the pause key if you want to see. 
Um, I, I still have one more unallocated locker on this side, and uh, my Ruby the locker. And two upstairs. So up here, of course, we've got the uh, the snack bar along with some coffee stations. So that that should certainly keep me in food indefinitely if I want it. Plus, I have a food station here. Fabricator is used for all the fabricated work, but I've got the water, food, and salt here for preserving. Um, we've got the sea moth in there with the two pieces of it. I need to get down now and start doing some more exploration. I've got five things in that decoy launch, to. I've used one decoy. I got attacked by something over by the Altera. Um, I'm not sure what it was. I didn't get a chance to switch into my camera mode to take a look at it. Um, we also were able to, when we click on this, we can switch these things out like batteries. And we've already taken care of that. So this is fully charged up. And here. Am I on or off? I'm off. Good. So I can see I'm at 100% power. And uh, I've got five creature decoys here. And I might take the uh, the prawn down. Now that we've had the chance to run the prawn around and experiment a bit with it, um, it does get hit. I think the, uh, the worms were doing like 15 points to the sea moth they did five to the prawn um, i may need to swap out for uh for a torpedo arm but i'm not sure yet i found also over here of course we know silent running but this here is the cameras so i can look underneath me i can look over on top of the conning tower and i can look at the screw in the back so that's where i didn't get the chance to take a quick peek and look as far as going this will help me with navigation when I'm trying to figure out, well, where am I going to go? You know, where, where do I need to rest my butt? Uh, we'll see how that goes. So next episode. Um, well, in this episode, we did a lot of drilling with the prawn. We got a lot of resources. We stocked up and we've made the Cyclops now a mobile base. Uh, it does need to have power cell charging. If I can find, figure out another way to charge, and actually, can I put in a power transmitter? No. Okay. I cannot. What about a, like a solar panel? That would have to be outside. And I don't think I can, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look anyway, just to double check it. Is that I could get to the surface and just sit there while it charges? No. Okay. Fair enough. I wouldn't have expected it, but you know, yeah, I've seen Stranger Things. So I think what we're going to do is, in the next episode, we're going to take the uh, pod down into the underground cavern down there to see if we can find any new things down there that we haven't found here. Um, I have a few a few things that I need to worry about how to make. Um, actually, I won't have to do it. I can do it from here. So, when we look at a few, especially the prawn stuff and the cyclops stuff, here we go. There's uh, poly polyamylene and kyanite that I still haven't figured out how to do yet. Uh, we have the uh, crystalline sulfur. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, Cyclops sonar somewhere. And a, a benzene. There it is. The benzene. I think that pretty much covers everything that I need. So I'm going to go wandering around down below and see if I can find something down there now that I've got the this base uh, situated. I could go ahead and do the torpedo arm. The only thing I'm using the, uh, the the other arm for is to hammer stuff. Let's do that. Aerogel is a gas sack and a, a ruby, which I don't have either one of those. Let's go do that. Ruby. Gel sack. Arrow gel. The rest of it is over there. The 
the lithium I have extra of, and then there's titanium. I'm going to use the, the few pieces of titanium I have here. Titanium is a short supply at Alpha Base. Um, I did stock up pretty good over at the main base. Lithium and titanium, I need five. Okay. Here. Or is this going to be the modification station? Oh. All right, I, I can do modification station. Double check. some more of the fire suppression but I figured out by if I do all head flank I set, set the thing on fire <laughs> so not not the thing to do um, I do have the mod station in here so I should be able to create um, welcome aboard captain Suit upgrades. There we go. Front suit perfect. God, I can go everywhere with this whole piece of to figure that out. Alright. Now I have the front suit torpedo arm. I'm going to load that puppy up with some gas torpedoes. Just in case I get myself into some trouble. I'm always have some way of responding. I don't know how many of these will fit. I'll take them all at the moment, and then we'll see. Do I have to get in it? I placed myself the way I thought. I was gonna open. Okay. So it just shoots out of my inventory. Oh, okay. look at that! That ain't quick. That's 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 decent. Okay, let's get back up here. So that bags a uh, storage up here. So I can put my computers in. It. I go through titanium so fast. So fast. I think I'll put it on this wall. Torpedoes. And that should be our last. Alright. Come back and join me in the next episode. We'll uh we're gonna continue on. We're gonna go down and see if I can get myself in more trouble. So far, I've hung out here for a while and haven't lost anything. Wow, you're going to make me take it outside to fix it? That's rough. Alright. Come back and join me. Take care. Bye-bye.
weaving through the shadows and the corners of your mind. I go where the wind blows. I run, but I don't hide. I hear the call of the wild, whispering the name. No, I can't be tamed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm a. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf. I'm a, I'm a. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 